battles for the championship forever engraved in history. Time to look back at those famous rivalries. J-League battle for the championship. Today we go back to 2019, a season exploding in a three-way race for ultimate glory. Two thousand nineteen was the year that David Villa joined Vissel Kobe. The outstanding favorite had to be Kawasaki Frontale. Looking for a third consecutive title, the addition of ex-Brazil star Leandro Damião looked up at the team in pole position. However... Starting with three draws and a loss, things did not gel for the defending champions. Welcoming Kenta Hasegawa to his second year in management. FC Tokyo led the way in early days. Front two of Nagai and Diego Oliveira were too much for most opponents. Twelve matches into the season, they were unbeaten, racing ahead as leaders. Oh, and let's not forget about this player. Coming back from a lone spell at F Marinos, Takafusa Kubo had come back to FC Tokyo. The prodigy had come through the ranks of Barcelona and now aged 18 was crucial to FC Tokyo. Having supported the front two and the team to a number one spot halfway through the season, Kubo left for world leaders Real Madrid. Moto. FC Tokyo no Kubo Takesa desu. Tokyo o seotte sekai ni habataite ikeru koto o hizou ni hokora shiku omoimasu. Tokyo den no jikan o jibun wa issho wasere nai no de honto ni arigato gozaimashita. Chasing league leaders FC Tokyo was Yokohama F. Marinos, led by former Australia manager Ange Postegoglu. 
fired up by his attacking football. Together with players such as Yoshi and Thai fullback Tiraton and several reinforcements, F. Marinos grew as each game went by. Their explosive style took them to second place by the end of the first half of the season. Their last game before the first half of the season was against the leaders FC Tokyo and it was to be a ferocious match. The game ended 4-2 to FC Tokyo. Going into the second half of the season, the title race was plunged into a chaos rarely seen. League leaders FC Tokyo, after a bright start to the second half of the season, began to show some weaknesses. After Takefu Sakubo, defensive rock Chan Kung Su leaving takes its toll. The next six games from match week 23 leads to just a single win, resulting in a fall from the top spot. Looking to overtake FC Tokyo were Kashima Antlers capitalizing on their good form. The first half of the season ended in fifth position, but after three wins in a row, they continued on a good streak. In match week 26, they defeated leaders FC Tokyo, winning the battle with the Titans. Having beaten Serrazzo in match week 28, they finally lead the table. やれてるからこそこの順位に出ると思いますし、まあまだまだ満足しないチームなので。F Marinos hang in there too. Three consecutive losses from match week 21 looked like game over for the boys from Yokohama, but they refined their form. Teruhito Nakigawa and Marcus Junior lead the way. 
their explosive attacks was just too much. With Antlers and F Marinos on form, FC Tokyo cannot afford to drop points. Eight games on the road look to defeat them, but not so. Match week 30 ended with the top three wrestling only with a point between them. Four games left in the season. Antlers were the first to drop. Defeat at home to Kawasaki Frontale in match week 31 condemned them to a drop third place, and that was it. FC Tokyo, meanwhile somehow survived. F Marinos, on the other hand, did not stop scoring. With only two games left, they climbed to the number one spot. All eyes were on them for the game against Kawasaki Frontale on match week 33. <laughs> goals away at Todoroki, they destroy the champions. Last game of the season, would you believe it? F Marinos versus FC Tokyo in second place. Three points between the two. It couldn't get any better than this. Yeah, look, it's an important game, but uh, you know, for us, it's just about continuing what we've been playing, uh, the football we've been playing for the last uh, sort of couple of months, and you now we're back here at Nissan Stadium and. Uh, in front of a big crowd, I think every player wants to be involved in a game like today and uh, you know, hopefully we perform well. FC Tokyo need a win by more than four goals. <laughs> a record-breaking 63,854 fans turn out for the big match. The temperature rises, and in the 26th minute, Thai player Tiraton has a crack. And F Marinos in the lead. FC Tokyo need five goals. It's now or never. However, before half time, another goal for F Marinos. Tokyo 
で田原が呼んでます。クロス、抜ける。Still people believe。右サイドからお手速、低いボール。With no luck in front of goal, FC Tokyo a dealt a killer blow. やりきりました遠藤。A convincing 3-0 win spurred on by their attacking football. F. Marinos are crowned for the fourth time in history, the first time in 15 years. FC Tokyo, on the other hand, miss out on the first league triumph. もう本当ね最後まであの諦めることなく戦い続けた姿勢っていうのはあの本当に大事なブームだったと思うし、もちろんあのチャンピオンを目指してあの今までやってきましたけど、あの本当にまあ負け惜しみですけどそれ以上のものを経験をねできたと思ってるんで。今をね噛み締めてまた次に生かしたいなと思ってます。いやもう、はい、みんなの頑張りのおかげで優勝できました。ありがとうございます。長くてこのクラブで。やってる身としてはすごく責任を感じてたので、15年ぶりにタイトルということで、本当にみんなが頑張ってきたおかげだと思いますし、今日はみんなでたくさん喜びましょう。Thank you, thank you, and、uh, we're champions. Yeah, we've been playing fantastic football, and、uh, the players deserve this. All year they've been working hard, and they deserve this. A battle engraved into history, a season never to be forgotten. 2019 champions, Yokohama F. Marinos. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Like, subscribe, push notification. Like, subscribe, push notification.